Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Uh, this is going to be a reading for Aries for February 20th and the 21st, 2022. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to stop around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And we recently had a full moon in Leo, so that brought in like a lot of fun, flirty energy. And we had all the planets stop being in retrograde, <laughs> thankfully. But okay, Aries, you versus them, February 20th and the 21st, 2022 Aries, you versus them. One last shuffle. February 20th and the 21st, 2022 Aries, you versus them. So right off the bat here, I feel like there's a lot of stuff coming to light, you know, and you kind of have no say in these things that you're finding out, you know, it could be about a specific person, you know, it's like you're finding stuff out and you're kind of like, okay, like I just have to get over it and it is what it is. Um, and that could be, yeah, the boat, you see, it's just having to get over stuff, you know, and it could be over this person. It doesn't always have to be stuff they told you. You know, I feel like this person was kind of like a booty call to you or they could have saw you as one to them. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff coming to light that you guys had to get over. Um, here on your side, I feel like you guys could be separated. You know, you're not sure if you're ever going to take this person back or what. Um, but as of right now, you know, money wise, your money's good. Uh, but your person, you know, you could see them as kind of like the snake. It's like... um. Yeah, you see, I feel like um, whether you're with this person or not, you're leveling up. Because with this separation, you guys could just be at a distance, like physical distance, emotional distance, talking every once in a while. Uh, but with soulmates here, it's looking like both of you guys are growing and receiving blessings. Um, but this person here, I feel like um, they tend to run in cycles. You know, with this snake here, I feel like um, they're very materialistic. It's a reptilian energy. It's like... They don't care. They'll do anything and everything for whatever it is that they want. And this is like a cycle of theirs. This is a pattern that they're stuck in. But with the lightning, it's looking like um, this person is experiencing a tower moment. And they're becoming, you know, they're just being a better person. You know, this could be a past energy. Um, where it's like you're still wanting to think this person is that way. But with Healing Heart, I feel like both of you guys have changed wedding rings. You see, it's like, um, you know, maybe at one point you couldn't take this person seriously. But with healthy choices, it's because you guys love each other that this person is becoming healthier. Heart with the, heart with the key, welcoming the one. So Aries, you versus them. February 20th and the 21st, 2022. Yeah, with the Two of Swords, you guys are totally separated right now. I have another deck here I'm going to use in a moment. Um, you know, and someone's heart could just be closed off. And that's why you guys are not doing this. And there has to be that healing. You know, it's like someone hasn't healed that. And someone doesn't have hope in this. And it's because their heart is closed off. So Aries, you versus them, February 20th and the 21st. 2022 Aries, you versus them, one last shuffle. February 20th and the 21st, 2022 Aries. So it's looking like um, manifestations are being are being brought forward, you know, are coming to fruition. Uh, with the death and rebirth card, there's major changes here. So just make sure you have a lot of unconditional love for yourself. And for this person, you see the devil card upside down. I feel like they're not really toxic anymore. Um, they could be spying on you, but I feel like um, they're not toxic anymore. You know, at one point, they were probably, you know, you probably saw this person as a devil, right? Um, they could be a Capricorn. But you see with this Hierophant here and this Ascending, you're walking up to those white stairs. You know, you're walking up to heaven on those white stairs. I don't know if some, some of you guys like that singer, Polo G. Um, that's, it reminded me of one of his songs. But with the Hierophant here, you could be dealing with the Taurus. I feel like you're very much on your spiritual path. Uh, some of you guys could have mandala tattoos or something like that. Or even like um, 
have a pet fish or have like a crown chakra tattoo on them. But um, because you're very spiritually aligned with this justice card, things are happening for you. Okay, you could be dealing with the Libra as well or a Sagittarius. Um, wow, we have all major arcanas here. Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And it's because you're craving peace. You want peace in your life. And that's why with the Temperance card and the Musician, just be patient. A lot of your manifestations are coming in. With the Three of Wands, you know, I feel like you're planning uh, while you're on your spiritual journey. You're manifesting your heaven on earth. And it's like you don't care about anyone else's business but your own. That's good, Aries, for real. Uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, or you were dealing with someone that was very sneaky towards you, very shady. Um, but nonetheless here... I feel like they're going to be taking action to come towards you. And this person could have been very manipulative to you back um, at some point. You know, could and it's just because they find you very attractive. You know, they tend to find you very sexy. And that's why this person tends to manipulate. Um, with the Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you're very much focused as well as this person you know it's like they're focused on you but they don't know how they could make this work so what's that snake card you see nine of cups and you could see this person as a snake because they take forever when it comes to dealing with you but it's looking like here with the seven of cups three of pentacles you know they just don't know how they could make a relationship happen you know it's like they want to work with you they want this teamwork Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Aries. They see the Tower and Nine of Swords. But it's like, it's dawning on them, you know, everything that they did to you. And now it's like, they don't know how to come back from it all. What's the Eight of Pentacles, Aries? You see, but it's like, all they're focused on is on the love that you have for them. And how loving that you were. So if this person comes back in, try to still be a loving person with the Dragonfly again. Things are coming up and you're just going to have to get over it. It's kind of like, okay. And it's like, there's nothing you can do to change it. It's just, you know, it's like if they told you like, oh, okay. Um, oh, by the way, okay, this is a really bad example. I don't know why this popped in my head, but I'm going to go with it. Because it could be really specific for some of you guys out there. You know, it's like in this time that we were apart, I went and I had a kid. Um, you know, and... It could be kind of like, uh, okay, like, what the heck? But it's like, if they want you back, they're going to have to just be honest and tell you, and you're just going to have to get over it. You know, it's it's one of those situations, uh, probably a bad example, but, I mean, you'll know if it resonates with you. It popped in my head, so I went with it. What's the Seven of Swords and the Temperance card? Aries. Page of Pentacles. See, this person's going to reach out to you, but I feel like um, they're being strategic. See the wheel? What's the Seven of Swords? Are they going to keep lying and being shady? Aries. No. With the Death card, it could be a Scorpio. I feel like this person has transformed and they truly just want another chance. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, this can get better. But this person needs to take that first step and reach out. Page of Pentacles. And, when they, and then the World card. This will complete that old cycle of them making things complicated or things being complicated because you always have to guess, like, guess how they feel or what they think. And what's the Ace of Pentacles, Aries person? Or what's the Tower, Aries person? Thank you. Five of Swords, Ace of Swords. If they had someone else with this Tower card, they cut them off. It's like um, Ace of Swords, Five of Swords. They knew they had to do it. Um... Or cut these friends off, these family off. So they did. They did. They had to for another chance. So they did. Um, what's the snake wedding rings and clock? Snake wedding rings and clock, Aries. King of Pentacles. You see, I feel like this person cared a lot about money or finances, you know, or about what it is that they wanted. And being that this landed on the death card, they have transformed. 
You know, they're not this sneaky person running in this continuous cycle, kind of crazy, expecting a different result. You know, they've changed. I have this other deck here I'm going to use. What's the Two of Swords? Thank you. Two of Pentacles. And you might be iffy, you know, about whether or not you still want this person. I feel like there's still hope here. There is still a lot of faith here. I feel like um, when this person reaches out, they will have done a lot of healing. Okay, so, and, and they're going to be romantic towards you. And then, see, there's an envelope here. So, they're going to be messaging you. Um, and they're having a hard time about what to message because, you know, and that's why they're holding back. Because Ace of Cups, they want a relationship with you. And I feel like they don't know how to, how to, they just don't know, Ace of Wands. You know, it's like they just want to start over. They want some sort of new beginning. And they just don't know. Three of Swords. They just don't know how, what, and if you allow it. What's the Hierophant here? But that's a commitment. What's the Hierophant, Three of Wands, Aries? And this could be like if you're married in your marriage, like this person is cutting off um, things, you know, because you've been telling them like, I want to be at peace here. Like that stuff is stressing me out. And it's like they know that they have to stop causing problems and just cut that out. Like, you know, why am I causing more stress? Uh, but again, to a source, when this person messages you, the lovers here could be a Gemini. It's a strong soul connection. King of Wands. They're going to be. You know, they're taking that initiative to message you, Page of Wands, um, to, or to just be more vulnerable. And it's like, you're gonna, and it's gonna be a completion of a cycle. This is them finally speaking up about what it is that they want. So Aries, you versus them. February 20th and the 21st, 2022, Aries, you versus them. One more shuffle, Aries, you versus them. February 20th and the 21st, 2022, Aries. You versus them. Choosing you. So you could have chose yourself. And that's why this person, again, they're wanting to fix things. Unbreakable. Bring out the best in each other. Aries, you versus them. February 20th. And the 21st, 2022, Aries, you versus them. So one problem could be that someone was sleeping around or someone um, was still holding on to like a friend with benefits or something like that. Um, or it's like you guys had other relationships, but we're still hooking up. Okay, with Devoted here, I feel like even if you guys like stepped out of the relationship or if you guys truly are separated, the love still stands. Sweet and innocent love. It's like... You guys may just not know how to properly love like this person or you. It's sweet and innocent. It's just um, you guys know better. Like if this person knew better, they could do better. See, insurmountable obstacles here. They feel like it's very difficult and they don't want to be just your friend. You know, I feel like they see it as it's hard to be just your friend. They don't want to be just your friend. Aries, you versus them. February 20th and the 21st, 2022, Aries. You versus them. See, this person, you know, they could be a childhood sweetheart or they have childhood traumas that they're still healing and see reluctant to share feelings. And it's like, that's why they're having a hard time opening up. So again, when this person comes in because you chose yourself, they're going to be learning from past mistakes. And it's like they know they have to speak up. They know they have to be honest with you. It could be an Aquarius. Could also be a Leo. Um, could be any sign for that matter. But all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close it out here if this resonates with you. Um, this is just a short reading. I'm going to be keeping up with the readings now. Um, if this resonates with you, much love, guys. Please take care of yourselves. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.